When talking about infertility, you've likely heard of intrauterine insemination, IUI, or in vitro fertilization, IVF. But there's another option out there, and I'm about to meet a family that has had three kids through that process. Okay, so Eleanor, can you find one of these? Embryo donation is how these three kids came to be. Kirsten and Joshua Blair are the parents of Eleanor, Clive, and Haddon. Kirsten was pregnant with all of them, but their DNA is different from Kirsten and Joshua because they were donated embryos, meaning the egg and sperm that formed each child came from a different couple. We knew from um, the time we got married that we wanted to have kids. Um, about two months after we got married, um, I basically went into premature menopause, which was very shocking, um, and was told that I would not be able to have my own kids. <laughs> Embryo donation is an option available to people facing infertility. The Blairs got their embryos through an organization called Snowflakes Embryo Adoption. Vice President Kimberly Tyson says the embryos came from couples who have participated in in vitro fertilization. Oftentimes more embryos are created than that family ends up using for themselves and any remaining embryos are frozen. According to Katie Cameron, an infertility specialist at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, there are several options couples have for remaining frozen embryos. Including embryo donation um, to another individual or couple who is growing their family. Um, there is also the option to donate those embryos to research um, or to just um, advise the clinic that they would like those embryos to be thawed and discarded and not used um, for any future purposes. And we hope that they'll make the disposition choice to donate them to another couple who will then give them an opportunity to be born. That reason is why Kirsten says she and her husband ultimately decided to go the embryo donation route. And I know people often don't think of frozen embryos um, as kids, but we really did believe like this is a um, its own unique life and it's kind of frozen in limbo right now. And we were told at the time that there were about 500,000 frozen embryos in the U.S. Um, and their parents didn't really know what to do. Kimberly says that number is now up to a million. I do a lot of work in communicating with fertility clinics to encourage them to tell their patients about this as an option. Numbers from an embryo donation national study found from 2004 to 2019, there were 21,000 frozen donated embryo transfers in the U.S., resulting in nearly 8,500 live births. While the number of people choosing embryo donation has been increasing, Katie says it's still quite rare compared to other infertility methods. I think that, you know, when people pursue fertility treatment, um, oftentimes one or the other or both members of the couple are pursuing treatment with the intention to use their own biologic gametes. Gametes are eggs and sperm. Uh, reasons that somebody would ultimately end up pursuing embryo donation, for instance, um, if it turned out that both members um, of a heterosexual couple um, were, you know, had absolute infertility and were not able to contribute genetic information. Um, or, for instance, um, if um, a woman ultimately ended up needing um, donor egg and was unpartnered or was otherwise going to use a sperm donor, then she might elect um, a donor embryo that's already created. When donating embryos, both Katie and Kimberly say it involves medical screening, psychological counseling, and informed consent so the transfer of rights is done in a way that everyone involved is comfortable with the process. When somebody pursues embryo donation, then they are waiving their future rights to those embryos. In terms of money, Kimberly says the cost including the transfer is about $16,000, while in vitro fertilization can be anywhere between fifteen dollars to $30,000. Kirsten and Joshua say no fertility treatment is super affordable, but for them, it was worth it. If it was going to be a hard process anyway, um, we really did want to give a chance um, at life um, for embryos that already existed. These are our kids, um, and you know, it's just a, a little bit different route to get there. Elizabeth Ruiz, Scripps News, Colorado Springs.